know that you said earlier that uh, the wise whales aren't really like meant to be used for like direct copy trading, but you know, as we know, uh, degens in the space that is <laughs> almost yeah. um, inevitable. Um, yeah, and we've sure. we've seen we've seen definitely a a history of projects or tools who have had to add um, features not not because they wanted to but because of pressure from, mm. uh, I guess, the community. Um, I guess the most prominent one being the recent debacle with Yaw and uh, the Zero Royalty Marketplace. So uh, the next question is, do you have any plans to integrate Wise Wheels tool with an automatic trader such as, uh, say, Parrot Tools? Um, yeah, so, you know, it's, it's something we're thinking about. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I'm very, like... Um, like, I'm not sure about Paratools' whole business model. I mean, like, yeah. for, for a number of reasons. But, um, you know, copy trading is, is, it's a little dangerous because you get one whale who knows they're a wise whale and they can basically, you know, create some shit coin and pump it up and mm -hmm. uh, people will copy it and dump it. And it, with NFT collections, it's, you know, it's even, it's even easier, right? If you, so mm -hmm. like uh, allowing kind of, um, copy trading for like any NFT collection is definitely a bad. Uh, I, but I have thought about um, doing some copy trading where it's just like, uh, I don't know, blue chip NFTs and a set list of, of DeFi things, um, whether it's like, you know, swaps that they've made or even like, you know, LP positions or whatever, kind of copying uh, what they've done. That's something that I'm thinking about. Uh, but it definitely couldn't be just like anything at any time. I think that's super dangerous.